The dark leaning hazels. Well, if you are sensitive, close your ears now for I can smell death. I'm not looking for it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not looking for it. I just came here for this. Beautiful. Buttressy roots clinging to the ground. Just, oh. wonder what dwells inside. Look why I say bring secateurs for nature is trying to close off the ways. And here's some more examples. It's only been a, a little while since I came this way. Wow, probably about six weeks, <laughs> incredible, and it wasn't like this then.
the water yoni. And hello, I'm somewhere where I've seen from a different angle and thought, ooh, I wonder what that's like. That looks amazing down there. So here we are. What we've just seen there is one of the springs that's here. The other one I couldn't find the other day. It's obviously not as, not running as flowingly not running as flowingly a bull as the one we just looked at so I'm just gonna head up up here and then come back down again and the reason I'm doing something so ridiculous is that the view looking down is amazing so but to get there I have to go up and now the Sun's been out and I just got really hot and now it's raining Honestly, we are having crazy weather here. It's already been <laughs> like 30 degrees last week and the week before. And now, <laughs> now we have autumn like rain. So if you ever come to Britain, remember, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, it can suddenly be really hot and then 10 minutes later, pouring down with rain and cold it's it's true <laughs> ask people who've been so let's let's show you this while i shelter now can you see why i wanted to go up there It looks like, to be honest, I think this is something old because we are a few hundred meters from two old castles, two Mott and Bailey castles that give the place its name. And this looks earthworked, doesn't it? That doesn't look natural. And that looks earthworked. I mean, maybe not. I mean, look at that, that's beautiful. I'm gonna to have to pop up there and have a look. Oh, looks like scabious. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's been worked in some way. That's an embankment, isn't it? That's a fortification. And up there. Uh, I'm tempted, you know? <laughs> I'm tempted to go up and have a look, but... Let's go and visit these beauties. 
I'm not alone in having visited them. Oh look, bittersweet in flower. Be hard to get the head in focus, I guess. Let's see if I can. I don't know if that focused on it. Some people like to call it woody nightshade, but I call it bittersweet. Because woody nightshade invokes some memories I don't want. Thanks. <laughs> This is lovely. These are, um, what are they called? Field scabious. And, and a, a centuria. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. It's not Montana, is it? That's the one that's slightly bluish. And, um, knapweed is another name for it. There is, it is where I thought I was. <laughs> or in better English, I am where I thought I was. Uh, there is a road at the top yeah, there, but that's as far as we're going to go. And then I'm going to come back down again. He went up and then he came down again. He went up and then he came down again. He went up and then he came down again. Uh, you can finish the uh, <laughs> that bit off. I can't, I can't end it. Uh, but I thought this was beautiful. This, th yeah, we'll see better from the top. So what I did want to do, and why I came here, I didn't realise it was going to be so beautiful, is um, I wanted to talk about something that's not quite as beautiful but it's really important and something I've found out, especially recently. Um, but but this, this nature here is just too, it's too captivating <laughs> just to talk about some difficult subjects. Wow, let's go up closer. <laughs> I like to include the bits of me climbing when the camera wobbles, when the camera wobbles about and I can't speak. Because I like to pass on the feeling of actually you being here with me. Rather than just seeing the beautiful pictures. Look at that, that's lovely. Uh, it's a Sycamore, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably one of the nicest sycamores that I've ever seen. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Well, I'd have to say, I was right. Now, if you use ord ordnance survey maps or maps that show the terrain, forget Google, forget anything you can find online because they are rubbish. I've, I've used them and I thought, nah, well I've tried to use them. You can't, you can't get a sense of perspective, you know? And sometimes there's too much fucking perspective. And if you haven't seen that film, <laughs> surely it's got to be the funniest film ever made. Now, if you don't know what that quote was from, it's from um, Spinal Tap. 
Well, this is Spinal Tap. So as you can hear the road. Now, because if you look at the contours, you look at the map, once you learn a few basic things about maps, you can get to read them. And without even knowing about a place, you can look at a map and you can spot where is a good place to go. And this is one of those. Although <laughs> it's got a bit crazy up here. I'm guessing that the wind blows all the thistles up this way. The thistles and nettles. But I was hoping to get to a point where I was, where I looked down, but let's see if I can do it from somewhere here. I didn't realize it was going to be quite like this. So now let's go into the, the midst of the stingy stings. There, that's what I could see. In fact, I don't think I could even see the tree at the bottom. I just saw this bit in front of us. Now, it's hard to adjust my camera settings for this light. It changes so much as, as you saw just then. I didn't touch anything. And all I could see was that and I thought, hmm, that looks old and interesting. And I'm now even more convinced that this is old. This is an earthwork. Even though on the map it wasn't listed as such. That's, this isn't natural, this bit. That's um, something whose name I know, but I've just forgotten. <laughs> Agrimony, or Agrimony. I was right to come here. It's lovely. But the camera's going to wobble because of the, the way I'm having to kind of wade through some long grass. <laughs> So I'll, I'll see you a bit further down. Ah, here we are a bit further down. What I'm going to do is, when I get to these bushes just down here on the left, I'm going to veer off left and take the less steep slope up the hill. I've got to say, I can still smell death here. And if you knew just how far away I was from where I smelt it earlier, I mean, we're talking, whoa, beyond, beyond there, and I can still smell it. You ready for one of my catchphrases? Look at the soil creep on that. So I'm going to head up to the top here. You can see someone else has already been here. Well, you can see how high up we are now. Look at that. And I think we're going, I don't even know which ridge in the center there that we're going down to. Oh, right at the bottom, right on the other side, there. Where the tip of my finger is, that's where we're going. So you can see how high it is. And I'll tell you what, some of it was very steep. I'm convinced it's an old earthwork of a castle or some kind of fortification. Okay, well I'm making the most of going while there's a bit, while the rain sort of stopped. But it's hard to film and walk down this slope. This is crazy. <laughs> 
Only an idiot would do something like this. Do you know any? Yeah, this is quite a an embankment, actually. <laughs> well, I'm going down to here, aren't I? Uh, lots of ladies' bed straw there. Made a lovely bed. Uh, here's another one. Oh, hello. There's a bit of a path. Ah, well, I intuitively followed a path somehow. I didn't see it until I got to there. But there we are. And still, I'm round to where? Oh, yeah, down to here. Whew. So yeah, there we were, right at the top there. Quick view behind. And he went up and then he came down again. He went up and then he came down again. He went up and then he came down again. Along the thing that he thought was an embankment. And there Merlin once stood in the middle of a tree, reaching out and talking to me and thee. I don't know. I made that up just then, right then. Right then as I Shot up. These are a nice bunch as well. There's some nice trees down here. I did see one earlier as I was driving around places. But it was on private land. It was a nice big tree. I don't even know what tree it was. I couldn't tell from the distance I was at. But it looked like a massive one. Looked like a big one. So that's a quick view up there. And some ash swaying in the breeze. And down there. So there in front of us, they are some old Morton Baileys. The ones I spoke about earlier. sound can you hear the sound of the life force flowing down I guess I'll always be a warrior of water So, here ended today's walk. Thanks for coming along, really appreciate it.
Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Tell her.